Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Step out the way, guys. I think we're going to come back online if I'm not mistaken. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to VentureBot. Third strike action. Bruise day Tuesday. Eight hours of 3S. Took a little break there. Got my connection looked at. Want to make sure I'm not lagging or anything. Let's create a lobby here. I see that um, whether or not my connection is being whack or not. I already said or not. I'm having some problems with uh, Twitch earlier. I'm losing a lot of frames. Hopefully that's just on their side. Not indicative of a larger problem with my connection tonight. I had some laggy matches. I don't believe the lag was on my side, though. Caviar is crazier. Kid Grill is online. That's cool. Liquid Ted's online. Sick. Shotokan's online. Awesome. Wonder who all's fighting who. Simon's online. That's sick. I'm going to invite Simon and then just hope people show up. You guys are all invited, of course. You guys are all invited. I just wanted to go through the list and uh, pick some guys that maybe not, might not be watching the stream. So, for caveats. What time is it now? 8.31. We've been playing for about two hours. Went on a little short break there. Now we're back in business. I keep on looking at my... Uh, my OBS network, so many frames I'm dropping through the network. Good old Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Arcade Machine. Doobie -doobie -doo. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Is that true? Two can be as bad as one, right? What's up, Harris? How you doing, dude? What's on your mind, homeboy, on this lovely day? This lovely, snowy Michigan day. Geki Purple. Sounds like a Japanese player. I don't really seem like Japanese connection though. Twelve player, oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna be twelve, Hars. If I was, I'm gonna be twelve. I don't seem like he's playing super serious. Finish that, but I need to eat a faster button. Is EX slash elbow faster? Thank you for helping me not go zero two of my local bank bot. What do you mean, Hars? Feeling powered up after that tournament? The practice I've gotten and the advice help. Good stuff, ours. Hey, I got Shotokan, I got Caviez. Shotokan's gonna go with Chum Lee. What the best matchup I do, dude? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. I have to be careful where I jump from. Doing okay, best matchup. Sadly, that will be the last local. Oh, oh you went to iFix Machine. Yeah, I heard that's closing. That's kind of sad. Oh, fuck, too early. I think it's not where I jumped from.
Oh man. Final round. Engage. Oh fuck, you got profile underneath. Oh, I still on the ground? Bullshit! Oof. How is I still grounded? Oh my god. I'd love a sure after that I would bounce out. Hit it too early, Shadowcon. I didn't even see a kick come out. I just blocked afterward, right? Or did I try and jump afterward? In any case, nothing came out. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Nothing came out. No cattle? Oof! I should have died for that. Oh man, I almost carried that. Oh, with my EX! That's bad. I'm mad lucky right there, that was so stupid. I know it's gonna cancel into fire into Cinder's Aegis. Oh, fuck. Where's my fucking EXs, man? Holy shit. Second time I tried to chip out with the uh, EX uh, flash shop and didn't get the EX. Poop. I haven't got many frames yet since I came back from network connection issues. Block it. As soon as I saw the frame turn to drop. No Chun Li yet. I might pick Chun Li now if Shotokan goes Chun Li. I'm playing Chun Li against players that play Chun. Here goes. That's my new philosophy. 
the battle. It's gonna be a, it'd be it's slow to learn Chun Li that way. That's for sure. But I want to play Chun against guys that don't play Chun against me. I really, really hate Chun. Got him. I hope that would uh, nick him. Jumping medium kick. Chun is so good. Even though I played lousy today. No, no, I'm not interested in Chun Li at all. Here goes. Not at all. My only interest in Chun Li is playing her as a new Spike character. That so for years I've been well, acting for years. I've always toyed the idea of having a Spike character. I just play out of Spike with a very negative attitude. Wow, it got me anyway. Ooh, that was sick! Oh, wow! Sick. Uh, EX, yeah, EX Fireball is safe. EX Fireball is safe. I forgot the Kenzie X Fireball is safe. Although I'm kind of surprised it's safe in the corner like that. Is Ryu's EX Fireball safe in the corner as well? Or was I just too slow to punish it? I thought that Ryu's EX Fireball in the corner was unsafe. I'll get better at Chun. I just felt like I couldn't block anything tonight. I couldn't block anything, huh? Reuse is safe anywhere. Really? I really thought that somebody told me that Cause I was playing Ryu, right? And I was, I was doing the crouching forward into fireball a lot. And of course you can red parry that, obviously. But I thought somebody told me that in the corner, if because I didn't, because there's no pushback, right? There's no pushback. So because there's no pushback, it made it unsafe. I guess not. So then if that's true, then likewise, I'm sure that uh, uh, Ken's is probably the same way. I should have kind of only plays top tiers. But he also only plays Yun, as I don't tell you. Welcome back, Bones! It's his fucking dog, man. Why so fucking dogs, dude? Why are you fucking dogs now? He's all uppity and shit. Okay, so his dogs didn't learn their place. These dogs didn't learn their place. Hey, he beat the, uh... He beat the, uh, headbutt on startup. Final round. Oh, take out the first round? I didn't know that. Ah, oh, what a character. What a character. Give him the W or the Mac. You win. 
And that Kara Palm. What a combo. Yeah, we all want to see Yun lose. My friend HG came back. I see he said he wants to see Yun win. He says if you ever see the gang and Yun always cheers for them. He cheers for the twins. So they're kind of agreeing with uh, Ch uh, Kill. So give him the give him the Dudley. He's a pocket Mac as well. I, I always thought Shotokan really only just played Yun. But he mostly just played other characters just as a goof. Oh, nice uh, tar combo there from Kavya. That was sick. Good blocks. Not sure how Ryu punishes that. Oh, that's how. Oh, Kavya's looking so sick lately. Oh, no. Oh, bad punish. That was sick. Dudley, Ken, and Makoto. Okay. Interesting punish. Going for the Hail Mary sweeps now. He's getting knocked down. Whoa! Wow! Jumping fierce! You win. You win. Neutral jump fierce. Wow! I don't think I've ever seen Dudley do that before. Bones Real Talk is a hot dog on the menu that costs $21? What do you mean, Bones? What do you mean there's a hot dog on the menu that costs $21? <laughs> I'm getting pissed off because you even said that, dude. What are you talking about? Explain yourself. I got no command throw on wake up four times in a row. That would lose to a car grab, though. There's not on the menu. What menu? What are you talking about, Bones? What menu are you talking about? Go for it. Ooh, wow, I don't think I've ever seen that before, that's spacing. Ooh, he got me. You son of a gun, Liquid Ted. How is that fair? Damn, it's my parry. How is that fair, Black Wake Up Super? Welcome back, Durson. Oh wow, what? Oh, man, I hit mine too early. 
I don't have meter anyway. Apparently it played, it played for like four hours last week. Oh, okay, don't do that. Wow. Oh, fuck, how did that whiff? Oh, that's bad. Sick. Ooh, he got me. You win. This stick is mucho stick. This stick is mucho stick, and I love that. What she said. I think you mean mucho thick, perhaps? This stick is mucho thick, and I love that. That's what she said. Are you like a kind of like a tall, heavy stick? Mine's very thin and light. My my last stick was very thick and heavy. I didn't really care for it. That's the most he will play because he won't be doing much on his co-op team. Huh? Who? Does she can? I guess like does she can? Are you saying that his team is just too strong and they're not actually going to reach him? Oh, stiff. Okay. Very stiff stick. Still hasn't been loosened up yet from where. So who's your team, Shadow Khan? Good block. How do you block? Whoa! Punish that! Oh no! Wow! Good anti here, standing strong. Arlieth, hold that. Zrog and Asuka. Asuka? You're in that went to SBO three times. Okay. Me, Arlieth, hold that. Where's Arlieth from, Shotokan? Do you know? Ask us from Taiwan, okay. Soka. Okay, so we got uh, both coasts here on this team. Damn, sick combo. Lots of buttons getting pressed here. Z Rock is Swedish. Wow. It's a Swedish 3S player. Huh? I don't Sweden any 3S players. Who does who does Z Rock play? He's a good Ken. Okay, he's a good Ken. He say Hitani Dishiken KO and Nuki. Okay. That's uh Dishiken's team. Yo, Kavya has won that, okay. This will be Shotokan's last match. He says he has to watch a video with his friend. Kavya's won Chun. I was kind of surprised by Kavya's Chun earlier. I feel like he's played Chun before. Go for it. That's the order for success. Issei first, then Haitani, Deshken, Keo, and Nuki. Nuki as the anchor. Who says Cav plays Chun for sure? I don't know. Definitely more than I do. That's not saying a whole lot, though. I think Kavya has played around with Ken for a little while. Uh, Kavya mostly just plays uh, Ryu and a little bit of Alex. Very, very little bit of Necro. 
Weak old chunk. I've kind of been playing him for about a week now. Okay, nice combo there from Shotokan. Ross being bird gets the job done. Lots of rag. Yeah, Ryu's definitely copied as his main. For sure. Let's take one Yang. I don't even know what Yang supers are. I see Yang so rarely. Oh, I should hit a button there. Okay, I got a little more meter than I did last time. He's got a lot of meter to work with, though. It's lots of EX uh, Mantis Slashes. Oh, wow! Why is life unfair? I don't know, dude. I couldn't tell you. It's very uncaring toward individuals. That's why. Very uncaring toward individuals. I'm gonna stick with the uh, with Yang. I got the wrong super. Well, he's got three bars anyway, but they're small bars. So if a if a so EX is always take the same amount of bar, right? That means if you have small bars, you get less EXs, or am I wrong about that? Do they always take the same amount of meter or the same percentage of bar? Do smaller bars mean less EXs? That kind of answers that question, right? That took like more than half this bar right there. So I think that if you have a smaller bar, you must have less EXs. Fewer uses of your EX. Oh, he only has one. I thought he had three charges of it. Are you ready? Go. Okay. He's got the the Bobo Ganesian. But even Bobo Ganesian's not that bad. I don't know. It seems like when I fight Yangs that have that, it seems pretty powerful. Good space in there from Liquid Ted. Oh, she, she might need to launch. He didn't confirm. He didn't confirm his uh, his Aegis there. That was weird. He thought he was blocking it, waiting for the overhead. He wasn't blocking it, man. He was getting hit by it. He could launch him there for free. Interesting option there. Maybe he thought he was going to jump, like neutral jump. Interesting uh, anti air there. Good punish on the knee drop. Wake up. Oh, regular Aegis. Okay, that's not gonna work. 
too far. Interesting. So I feel like Wigatai's not that good with the Aegis setups. He always has Aegis a little bit loose. A little bit loosey goosey. It's kind of a, a waste of meter. I right? can throw your Aegis out there. Shotokan's calling it. Good game, Shotokan. Take your time, dude. Chavez playing Hugo. Oh, how did that whiff? That's not a punish, though. Not at that spacing, it's not. I have to be real close to punish that. What's up, little Grimms? How you doing, dude? Here goes. What our negative DDT is on whiff. Pretty negative. Pretty damn negative. How negative? Really no way to tell. So it depends on how early they crouch under it. I'm trying to use meter there. That was dumb of me. Didn't need meter. The next stomp doesn't make him go any faster. This makes it come out, uh, it's like, uh, target, auto target. To punish on my stomp. Oh, come on. Where's my knee? Oh, bull. Good stuff. Here goes versus Liquid Ted. Here you go, still playing um, a laggy TV, I guess. He said yesterday, hey, this TV wouldn't specify why. I assume it's some kind of you know, LCD TV that's from from whatever. Maybe he changed it to whatever he uses for Steam. Here we go. 
Starts around with a poke with a uh, flash chop. I never do that. But uh, a hold that uses that to great effect. Flash chop as a poke. To me, it's just too slow. It does make his body weave back, though. It's kind of like uh, a special version of Standing Roundhouse to me. Not a really good punish there on the DDT. It's more likely for Liquid Head, but not much. Now, the light, uh, the light kick tackle from Urien is not unsafe. But it seems like Urien still get hit by that. Well, if you try and punish it, they still get hit sometimes. Not sure why that is. They're, they're hitting a button or something afterward. Or going for a parry and they're carrying the wrong way or something. Okay, there's an unblockable. Okay, good block. I mean, how did he block that? Why would you... <laughs> how did he block that? He really expected Here Goes to wake up uppercut there? I mean, pretty, it would work. Pretty smart, I guess. Didn't have meter for wake up super. Good block. Okay, seeing uh, here goes keeping his charge there. A little bit early with the jumping uh, jab. Okay, he drops his combo there again. I feel that look at his, he's not really confident in his age of setups. Tackle beast to ex tackle. That was funny. I feel like uh, here goes disguised that slash elbow by putting a light button on front of it. Never seen that before, but it seems like a pretty cool strategy. A little bit late there on the launch. I think it's unblockable here. Good shit. I feel like uh, here goes hit a light button, then slash up it on purpose to make it look like he, you know, make his opponent want to hit a button there. Pretty sneaky. PC monitor, I got you here, goes. So he changed it overnight. He had a PS4 on his TV before. It's kind of sad we live in an age where you have to kind of choose between having it on your TV and on your monitor. I wish we would just make TVs in general have less latency. Especially now that gaming is such a more widespread hobby than it was when we were kids. When we were kids, it was like, you know, games only for nerds. Not everybody uses, you know, everybody plays video games, right? So why are TVs still mostly very high latency? Got some leftover cables, I got you here, go. So he actually didn't move his PS4, he just, just, just plugged it in, huh? Yeah, to get some pretty long cables, probably. Wow, interesting. EX Fireball beats uh, Urian's Fireball there. Goes right through it and hits him. What's up, Bass? How you doing, dude? So now I have uh, less of a hassle getting the PS4 into my office. So I got you. Ooh. And cross up. If you time that uh, tattoo on their Oki just right, it's pretty ambiguous what size can hit on. Usually the guy that even does the tattoo doesn't even know. Okay. Both got a lot of meter here. Okay, got lucky there that uh, Liquid Ted didn't recognize that sweep sooner. Could have punched that on the way down. Raw well, uh, Super inside the back attack, we'll get tip on the tackle. A little bit late there on the anti airs. Oh, how did that not hit him? Come on, straight jacking. You beasting on these fools? Not really. Going back and forth. How you doing, dude? You beasting on your fools? I just moved the console instead of the console and the cables. Oh, okay, I gotcha. It's easier. You still gotta move the console. Oh, man, how does he block that? He went for a parry. He didn't want to get chipped, huh? That's the thing. Out of curiosity, I checked what you said about the power bomb. Compared to it, it's a pretty normal throw. Yes. And you were wrong. I don't think so, Baz. Power bomb still does more damage. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, by like one percent or something. What's their damage? How do the damage? What's what's the damage of the two moves? Them with me. Yeah, he doesn't really, uh, Yuri doesn't really okey low. Oh, I deserve that. That was dumb of me. That was 160 
Normal does 120. Prepare to strike now. So how about how, what percentage more damage is that? When Kara grabs, go wrong. Nice. Yeah, 19 versus 17, yeah. That's exactly what I mean. The risk and the reward is all fucked up with Power Bomb. Compared to a regular grab. Yeah, so Light Punch Power Bomb does a little over... It does, like, what, like 15% more damage? more damage and not even that not even close to that much difference in stun Where's my car off? Fuck. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I don't think that's 33% more damage, Stray Jacket. 160 to 120. Yeah, the point might say it's the same damage, the same stun. I mean it's very, very close damage, very, very close stun, and much, much, much less risk. Again, there's the the power bomb is slightly more reach as well than the car grab. Very, 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 very slightly. I disagree, Daz. I disagree. I'm done with power bomb. It does all add up in the end, but it's a huge risk. Why? The normal throw did I didn't say that. I would never say normal throw did more damage than the life punch power bomb. Talking about risk and reward versus normal throw. Yeah. Maybe he didn't mean it literally, as in it does more damage in the long road. 
I don't know. I'd be confused. I'd be surprised if, if I said anything like that. So it says, um, actually. I feel like maybe I was misunderstood. I don't think I would say that. Maybe when I say it, maybe I said it was better. Maybe maybe misunderstood when I said it was better. I do think it's better than a power bomb. But I'm not sure I would say it does more damage. I think Kagura is much better than a power bomb because it comes out so much faster. I gotta wake up, fight Kavias. Pause them of me. I was asking to get a short use right there. Oh, I was a Holy shit, what am I doing? Can't believe that connected. My math is jacked then, but 40 is 33% of 120. Was it 120 and 160? I thought it was, I'm sorry, I thought it was 2140. Look up the frame did it too as well while I'm, while I'm at it here. Oof. Whoa, how did that trade? Let me look up frame data here. You win. Does going for extra damage is always wrong then? No, no, hell no. I'm just saying that... Here's the thing about Power Bomb, right? The Power Bomb, it's not just the startup that's wrong with Power Bomb. It's the recovery that's wrong with Power Bomb, right? Going for... taking a, It's a risk reward. You have to manage your risk and your reward, right? You always go... Oh, I shouldn't say always. You usually go for more risk when you want more damage, right? That makes perfect sense. But the risk on the power bomb is insane. It has a longer startup, so you get snuffed easier. And if they jump out of it, they can punish you on the way down with a jump in combo. The recovery is so long on a power bomb. If they jump out of the power bomb and they come down with a, they can come down with a roundhouse and do a full jump in combo on you. Or if you whiff, uh, let's say you go for the uh, the Kara grab, right? And they jump out, you're safe. But no, I don't believe that going for more damage is always a bad idea if it's riskier. No, I'm not saying that at all. You have to manage your risk, though. You have to find that the... You have to decide that the damage gain is worth the risk. And in the case of a car grab versus a power bomb, there are very few situations, in my opinion, if any, where a power bomb is worth the risk compared to a car grab. I'm looking frame data here. Prepare to strike now. Sorry about uh, drop frames while I'm using Chrome. Chrome's kind of very intensive with uh, CPU or custom frame drops. Hey, for ending a fight, for example. If if you're going to end a fight with the, you know, one tw uh, 160 versus 120, then maybe. But even then, if they jump out and they're going to lose the fight because of that, it kind of sucks. So, let's see here. Where's his throw? So... His throw does 24 damage. I'm not sure where Baz is getting his numbers from. His throw does 24 damage. And 16 stun. 24 damage, 16 stun. And it has 46 range when you car it. 46 pixels of range. 24, 16. And then uh, 46 range. His light punch power bomb has 48 range. So you get two, so it's 5% more range, right? Yeah, you get two more range. So about 5% more range on the power bomb. And it gets uh, 28 damage. Right? So 28 versus 24. Again, very, very, very small difference. And then the stun is 18. So you get two more, you get two more stun, right? So car grab is 16. Power bomb is 18, but look at the recovery on power bomb. All right, so it's got, it's got like two more pixels of range. It does like you know four more points of damage, and it does like two more points of stun. But if you the power bomb has 35 frames of recovery, 35 frames of recovery. That's madness, man! I can make it a full jumping combo for that. A full jumping combo. 
So let's say you go for like the you do a crouching leg kick and the power bomb, right? Like the like a little tick setup. And they jump out. They they, they block the crouching leg kick and they jump, right? They can come down with a full jump in combo. And again, if you go for like a power bomb on their Oki, like you assume they're gonna try and block or parry, you go for the power bomb, they jump out, again, full jump in combo on you. Is it really worth, you know, uh, you know, uh, what, 20% more damage, right? Because, no, it's 24 to 28. So, it's four more points of damage. Yeah, I can't do math. I'm, gonna do, I'm, I'm just gonna ask Google if I can't do math. Are you ready? Go! Let's see here. Some of the frame drops, guys. Okay, so yeah, so it's it's uh, about six percent more damage. No, no, it's, it's about uh, it's one sixth anyway. It's one sixth, whatever one sixth is. It sucks. I'm sorry, my math is my math is terrible. But it sucks. You get a little more damage, a tiny bit more damage, tiny bit more stun, tiny, tiny bit more range. But for a much longer startup and much, much, much longer recovery. You win. Yeah, you don't you don't compare the grab to the to the you don't compare the regular grab to the power bomb. You compare the car grab to the power bomb. Which adds one frame of startup as well. Adds one frame of startup. So you get to three frame startup on a car grab, not a two. Frame. I was hoping I could survive, get more mix up. I don't think so, Capius. If you if two if two stun is gonna decide the match, then definitely go for it. If two stun will decide will give them stun, then definitely go for it. Ooh, good space. Ooh, is that a punish? Man, I got lucky there. Don't try and jump out, son. Ah, oh, too far! Oh, I hit his crouching medium punch right there. Wonder is Alex is worse here or in five? Uh, I think he's really, he's not that bad in this game. Alex is not that bad in this game. I hear in five he's totally garbage. Yeah, I got lucky right here. Here he goes. I can't believe my crouching fears beat the crouching medium punch. I mean, it makes sense in the, with the priority system the way it is, but damn. Yeah, here in five he's totally like not even usable. In this game, 
Alex is good in three and bottom three and five. Yeah. I don't, I don't play five, so I don't know. But from right here, he's like not even viable. In this game, of course, I feel like in this game, although I think that unlike unlike here goes, I think the top tiers are pretty much broken. I think everybody below top tiers is pretty competitive. What's up, demon? I don't think Alex is that bad. Again, unless you compare him to the top of the top of the top tiers. That's true of a lot of the cast. Oof, nice. He started bad in five and got progressively worse, huh? He started okay in five, I see. He got progressively worse each season. But he wasn't he didn't he wasn't a launch character, right? So he came out, he was a, he was a DLC or something, right? What if they buffed Alex? Wouldn't that be sick? I don't know it's really glass. I think that stun gun is the, the manliest super. The headbutts, dude, the headbutts. The demon with the premonitions. I feel like uh, here goes some pretty good mix-ups. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, he got me. Oh, no, I dashed up. I wanted to fucking tap forward and throw. I tapped forward too many times. That would have been the end of the round. Oh, that's bad. I got anti air, it's better than nothing. Oh, the lag! No! Lag on the super. Final round. Go. Can we do the same thing I got him with? Got me! Wow! No! MG jump crouching medium punch. Beat my crouching medium punch. That's too slow. He has too many tools and is still the character with most health in the game. Capcom, but Capcom seems to be in a campaign of nerfing all grapplers except for Abigail. Huh? Yeah, I heard Abigail pretty strong. What I like about here goes Alex. He'll tick me really high with a jumping medium, uh, jumping fierce, and then he'll medium punch, uh, medium kick when you land. Whenever I see a medium kick, uh, medium uh, fierce that high in the air, I always think that they're gonna go for a, a grab. I try and jump, but I get blown up. It takes me seven frames to leave the ground. But I can go for, I should go for a regular grab then. Huh? That's what I should do. Not try and jump out. I'll go for a grab. To be honest, I don't want them to nerf Abigail. I just want them to buff the low tiers. I heard Abigail's pretty busted, though. But I don't know. I don't want to play the game. I don't know. Oh, 
I'm going to scrap to 5 now, it's a Swirly. What are people going to play then, Swirly? What are they going to play then? for the three man so got me to buff in a game with no uh, no much not much zoning or anti zoning his game plan itself is at a disadvantage I missed my, uh, missed my uh, uppercut. I got the, uh, I wanted the EX version. Uh, v trigger 2 bison is fun. Huh? I love how good the cycle crusher is. So, Baz plays Street Fighter 5. Huh? Street Fighter 5 is 2 with better graphics and dashing. I don't know, Cavs. I feel like the people, the complaint people have with Street Fighter 5 is just the amount of input delay that makes it, you know, it's a very aggressive game, right? Street Fighter 5 is like you just kind of roll the dice and see what works, or am I wrong about that? That's what I hear. That's why I feel that the main complaint of the game is. Is just that it's just too dumb. There's not a lot of thinking going on. Never tech in 30th. You're not alone, dude. You're not alone. But the verdict is still out if it's a bug with the game or what. Because some days I have more trouble than other days. So I don't know if it's just me. And Kilt is the same thing, right? You're loath to say it's the game's fault. And I heard this from Ona Guy as well. Rip. You're loath to say it's the game's fault. But it does seem weird in this game. Teching seems really weird in this game. Could just be in our could just be my imagination, but Teching does seem weird. Okay, watch my jumping spacing. My complaint's always been this is what Hero says. Uh, that the damage is too damn high. Just fights end too quickly, huh? Still don't play it enough, though, since I still don't have next-gen console or, or a decent PC. I mostly play it at friends' houses and at barcades. Over there in, uh, in Chile. Oh! Oh, nice punish. Oh, 
Lariat. I beat my EX slash elbow. Now. I got underneath like that, that was kinda sick. I got lucky as hell there. Vegas. Final round. Go for it. Oh, how did I? How did I survive that? How did I survive that? That's really outside of range? I swear I've seen Gaggis hit farther than that before, because I was just barely outside of range. By like a pixel or something. The damage has to be high, because the only thing you can defensively do defensively is block. Otherwise matches would go all the way to zero. So you're saying that a defensive player, I don't know, I'm not trying to stand the, the reasoning. Bogmeyer said, so without a doubt, 30th on PS4 is the most active version of 30th. Yes. Yeah, this version is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how they go, things go on Xbox or Switch. All I know is that compared to Steam, it's pretty active. From what I understand. I forgot how to play this game for a second there. I totally blanked when he was stunned. Yeah, flash up into power bomb. That's what I'm supposed to Can I speed a sure you can start up? I don't think so. Maybe it was maybe he missed his EX. How you doing, Bogmire? Moe for Pressfield. Boomerang raid Alex. If I lose this guy, I'm gonna need to, here goes to, to avenge me. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Ugh. See that? <laughs> That's kind of cool. He beat my crouching fears with a jumping medium kick. Oh fuck! This man is teleportationing, dude. He's a teleportationer. Oh my yeah. Shouldn't have uh, tried to be cute there. Nice. Oh man, I can't even see myself. 
Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh, it's supposed to be standing medium punch. Oh, yeah. You win. I'm in a teleportationing, dude. Thank you. I hate fighting you. Fighters ready. Engage. Mad lucky. I don't know how to punish that. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised that worked. Can Q do his glitch sets up on 30th? Uh, I don't know how they would work. I think you probably could. Kiko says yes. What does it do if it's supposed to crash the console? What happens? It crash the game? Or does it just send you back to like, the title screen or something? Send you back to the lobby? Doesn't Q's glitch just cr crash the game? I'm gonna think somebody else. I'm thinking about Makoto perhaps. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. I think Demon's first language is Spanish. Oh, really? Demon, your first language is Japanese? I didn't know that. So, do you speak Spanish, Demon? I'm not gonna fight Moe again, this guy's too laggy. Hopefully he has a better connection with Here Goes. I love this fucking game, dude. Good lobby system. So Here Goes is Demon Hispanic, yeah, that's what I think too. I was fighting because I beat him last time, but he's a lagger. Here goes. Maybe nobody's gonna fight him. We to make a private lobby. Okay, here we go. Maybe you'll have a good connection with him. Here goes. Sometimes connections are like a person-to-person -person thing. Wow. Yeah. yeah that's, that's I think cute. I watched uh I watched Demon stream as well. It sounded like he had a Hispanic accent. Oh my god. 
Well, maybe he'll leave. Because our only other option is to make a private lobby. Because this version of the game is shit. Digital Eclipse to gouds! Can't boot people, can't ban people. Thank you, dude, thank you. Right, I got copies versus here goes. Here we go. Oh, that game, that guy's that game again? Moe 4 something? Moe 4 something. Sick Alex color. It's a punish there on the whiffed uh, uh, slash elbow. Moe's fault lag in this shit, yeah. yeah. Fuck laggers, dude. I don't know. Maybe I should be more forgiving of the laggers. But I feel like, you know, you're making everybody else's, you know, we're all having less fun because you're in here lagging shit up. You could argue that they have no control over it or whatever, or it could not even be their fault. It could be, you know, it could be on my end. It could be something Comcast, maybe, you know, something, uh, something the way that we're connected together. I don't know, though. I think it's mostly this guy's. Yeah, Moe 4 Pressfield, exactly. I think, you know. Some of these guys are not from North America, but they're in North American lobbies, cause them all kinds of lag. Sometimes they're on Wi-Fi. Sometimes they just don't have good internet. You know, maybe they're they're not paying for a good internet package, right? But they can't afford good internet. That's not, that's fine. I understand the struggle, but then don't be coming in my lobby and lagging it up. You win. I don't know. So Keanu plays this on Xbox. Good stuff, Keanu. How is the community over there? I heard it's uh, pretty quiet. The Q glitch is to avoid being thrown, or is a setup for a punish, kind of like a parry. Oh, that's not really a... Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I thought you meant like a game crashing glitch. Yeah, that's just, yeah, he's invincible on his crouch, right? Or his recovery, I guess. Not on his crouch animation. On the recovery of it. That stupid beagle from jumping like it against Chun. I hit a fucking crouching jab. Oh, fuck. Never many matches on Xbox. I'm sorry to hear that. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. I tried doing the Ken Mac glitch and nothing happened. That's why the game actually crashes, right? Nice! Players on Xbox One are not that strong, huh? Well, Keanu, do you have a PC? People on Steam are strong. I mean, Steam's not, it's pretty quiet. But if you know people that play, like uh, XO and uh, Mutant and Shotokan and KD Alpha, you can get a lot of good games on the Steam version of uh, Anniversary Collection. Yeah, neither do I, here it goes. Neither do I. Everyone has a chun that's swirly. Eh, that's not true. I mean, you have more of a chun than you do for, let's say, a, an Oro. You know what I mean? Everyone has more of a chun than an Oro, that's for sure. But you still need to... Uh, kind of, against a certain caliber of player, kind of know how to play a little bit? I don't know. Maybe not cal caliber. isn't the right word, a certain kind of player. Everybody has a Ken's as here goes. I don't know if I do. I don't know how to play Shoto's. I might be surprised if I tried, though, huh? 
Welcome back, Baz. So Keanu's building a PC, nice. Lots of cool PC games out now. Remember back when we were kids and like console games and PC games were two separate things and now they're like all cross-platform? I love that. Kind of so easy. Some of you guys have been playing, you know, this is my first 2D fighting game, and I really don't know how to fight. I don't really know how to play a showdown. Some of you guys, you know, to you guys it's really obvious, right? Play a fighting game on DOS. Play a fighting game on DOS? Not me. That Keanu, this game should be cross-platform, man. Fucking Capcom. Hey, it's Milk Love, goddamn. Yeah, it should have crossplay for sure. It should definitely have crossplay. Kind of want to play Ken a little bit since you guys mentioned it, but I don't know. Prepare to strike now. Uh -oh. Ooh, I thought it was gonna wake up super. I think it would chip me off. I was gonna try and uh, jump over the super. Prepare to strike now. So Bass played on DOS, so then he got SNES. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that was cool! He plays like Ryu, but with better normals, Ken. Fast walk speed and very good dash, plus the best air-to-air -air in the game, huh? My first fighting game was Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis as Keanu. My first fighting game? What was your first fighting game, guys? Before I blow my load and tell you guys my first fighting game. That you ever played. So Baz was One Must Fall 2097. I never even heard of that one, huh? What was your first fighting game, Demon? I need to fucking wake the fuck up. This is Milk Love, man. It's so tricky to block. Damn. So here goes my first fighting game that I remember playing is Virtua Fighter 3. On what console? Saturn? Are you ready? What do you mean an arcade? Oh! Oof. 
Damn it. Ambiguous. Oh, cross up. Wow. Ah, good shit. I went for the big power bomb there, the heavy one, because I had to get the damage. On Dreamcast. Okay. Rick 43 on Dreamcast. Sick. One must fall was a mech-based 2D fighter. Gameplay-wise, it was super simple. Only two buttons on DOS. Sounds kind of cool. I want to see Here Goes Fight Milk Love. So I'm going to skip this match. You guys don't mind. So best I had Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 on SNES, but I later sold 2 so I could buy Killer Instinct. Nice. Straight says Ken is 3S, huh? Ken equals 3S. Ken and Chun and Young. The Holy Trinity. My first fighting game ever? Well, I mean, back in the arcade, I probably played, like, before I actually had a fighting game of my own, I probably played, like, Primal Rage. Something like that. But the first fighting game that I owned was, uh... I bet you it was Pocket Fighter on PS1. That's what it feels like it was to me. Pretty sure, yeah, I think I had that before I had, uh... Darkstalkers. They had a pretty crazy mechanic. This is uh, One Must Fall on DOS. You could choose mechs for your move list and mobility, but depending uh, on your pi the pilot, the speed, health, and damage of your mech change. Okay, so you could pick up a mech and a pilot. Sounds like a lot of fun. Wow, the Shinsho on the dash up? Oh my, yeah! Caveat. Kills unbeatable on, on Killer Instinct 1 and 2, huh? Kills broken tier in that game. I'm surprised uh, Kavi has blocked that uh, flash shot. Ken's about baiting knockdowns and insane pressure when he's chasing them down on knockdown. The cross-ups he has. That's kind of how I feel, too. Whoa, that was kind of cool. There's a lot of ways to play Ken, though, right? But when I, the Ken's I have the most problem with, Demon, are the ones that play that way. Lots of very high-pressure Ken's. Ken says Ken's about being OP. Milk Love versus Here Goes. If I had to bet on one of these guys, I would bet on Milk Love. If Milk Love plays Aura. But I don't know. I, no, 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 I take it back. Take it back. It's 50 50. I go either way. I go either way. So Straight's a good at Urban Go. Champ, huh? Isn't that like a boxing game? It's weird thinking of Killer Instinct 1 compared to later KI games. Looking back, everybody in K1 was a show. Let's so go either way, guys. I'm kind of curious to see this first to 10, but I feel like uh, Here Goes might not be down for it because since he's. Uh, Kind of haven't played this game much in a while. Okay, interesting, got another tick grab. I haven't played in the UFC games, not me, no. I think Pocket Fighter is known in Japan as Super Gem Fighter, I think? It's like a chibi, chibi Street Fighter game. I enjoyed the game a lot as a kid, even though I said I never played it seriously. I never played against another human being, only against the CPUs. But it was cool. I've heard pretty good things about these UFC games, though, Keanu, right? Nice finish there from Milk Love. Fighters ready. I want to play these, uh, I want to play the, the wrestling games. The WWE 2Ks. I have 2K13, and it fucking ruled. But I didn't have time to really play it that much. TJ Combo and Cinder were the only non shows in the uh, first Killer Instinct. Wasn't TJ Combo kind of like Balrog? Yeah, Baz only the K's wrestling games. Street Fighter 2 on Sega Genesis is swirly, huh? Big life lead here for uh, Here Goes. Ooh! Had a lot of fun playing Fight Night when the thir uh, 360 first launched. Fight Night, that's a boxing game. I think. Okay. 
Pick up supers, Alex stuff. Yeah, I heard that uh, KI is really strong. This is current gen's KI. You can play it on PC too for free. I should probably try it sometime. I think it's even crossplay. Whoa, look, I'm sneaking right at the grab! Good parry! After watching that, I feel like in a first to ten, here goes would be dominant. He just needs he would just need, you know, a couple matches to really learn what to do, and then he would be pretty dominant. Here goes collects wrestling games. Even modern ones or just the good old ones? I hear that the new ones are pretty controversial. Eventually, I will own every wrestling game ever made. So you must be buying the new ones too, huh? Do you buy them at launch or do you wait for them to go down in price? If he played well, it looks uh, basic, though. Spacing and baiting and punishing. Hmm, I understand that. I must have to read that when I'm not in the middle of a fight. If he played well, it will look basic. It will look basic. It's not because of the spacing and baiting with punishes. Plus, to need match. I think he's talking about Ken. Yo, know, Swirly, be careful what you say, man. Uh, Yurgos will fuck you up. I refuse to buy WWE stuff, so that's a no-no to the new games. Oh, okay. We only buy WWF and other things like that. Huh? The classic WWF games and, like, Japan Pro Wrestling games, huh? <laughs> Here's I 100% agree. Wrestling is whack. WWE Star Wars is the last great wrestling game, huh? Here's that new Fire Pro is pretty sick. You been playing the new Fire Pro here, goes? I think you said you bought it recently. I watched like an hour long review of the Fire Pro series and I was like, damn. I don't even know how to, I don't know anything about wrestling, but it looks kind of interesting to me. But it's one of those things that people have been playing for like a billion years. And so it's probably like a lot. It's probably super deep, right? It's probably really hard to learn. I kind of felt the same way about the 2K game that I got too, though. But over time, I kind of started to figure it out well enough to at least play it. No clothes, Makoto. Huh? It's like uh, Milk Love and Caveus have a good connection to each other. Even better than me and Caveus. The Aki engine. Oh my, the Lil Grimms! He gave him the Lil Grimms kill, remember that? I haven't seen that in forever. Fighting. Only kill remembers. Engage. Everybody else in the chat is too new around here. Give him the Lil Grimms. Okay, so you guys might want to go. You might be willing for a, uh, do a first attempt. I kind of feel like we should do that right now. It's a good time for the stream to do a first attempt. Kill remembers. Okay, I'm gonna message Milk Love. He's in the chat sometimes here, but not usually. I'm gonna message Milk Love at the risk of breaking this lobby. No, I'll watch this first. I think it's gonna break the lobby. I should leave. I'll watch this and I'll leave. Then I'll message him and then I'll come back in. The Lucha Underground game. Huh? First time between Here Goes and Milk Love. The last time Here Goes was pretty dominant. And I feel like as the set would go on, he'd become more dominant. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know Milk Love that well. I don't know Here Goes that well either as a player anyway. I feel like it would go to Here Goes, but I'm not totally sure. It'd be interesting, I feel like. 
Let's see how he does against his Mac. Here goes a minute for my own heart, dude. Alex, Hugo, and Q. Okay. Got a little bit too late there on the Karaksa. Should have worked, but he missed the meaty timing. Overheads. Arochi! He wanted to try and bait the, uh... He wanted to bait the, uh... The 720 there. But the problem is that you can't really... I feel like you can't really bait 720 that way. You have to jump over Hugo, right? To bait it. Because he can backbreaker you. So it's like, I feel like if you're too close to Hugo and his Oki when he has 720 on deck, it's kind of like a 50-50, right? Like, he can wake up 720 or wake up backbreaker. Wow, the spacing on that. Look at the damage. Oh, I think it's Makoto's favor, yeah because of the mobility. But I've heard people say before that although Makoto is way more mobile than Hugo, Hugo has tools to keep her out. I believe it is in, Hugo, in Makoto's favor, I'm not sure by how much. Hugo is one of the least mobile characters in the game. I think he's the least mobile character, right? Even less so than Q. And Makoto is one of the most mobile characters. Okay, good throw break. Oh man, missed the punish. That was so clutch. Oh, there you go. See, that's what I was talking about, right? You can't just, you can't bait his 720 for free. You have to kind of respect Hugo on wake up. Okay, I'm going to dip and message uh, Milk Love. Let's see here. Got messages from people. People being salty, I think. Oh, Giga. Man, Spika's such a fucking nice guy. I'm gonna message these guys in a second here. I wasn't trolling with Giga. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I want to message Milk Love. So, all friends. Milk Love MN. Confirm. Take your time. Here goes. First to ten. Against here goes nothing. Character lock. Sorry guys, I know it's not as exciting to watch as matches, but I'm gonna message some guys here real quick. While I wait for Milk Love to get back to me, I'm gonna message my friend Giga Scrub. What a guy. Only works online, FYI. <laughs> Good game though. I'm not sure what Chris Lick's talking about. Mm. Hell no, dude. I wouldn't troll you. I was playing Chun all day. Chun all day because I was salty. Because I was salty. Salty. About being beaten by Chun. Looks trollish. Because I don't know how to play her.
I, I know what he's talking about now. He's talking about the, the wake up spinning birds. The wake up. EX SPK was to prove how godlike it is. I wanted to prove I could just keep doing it. I don't know, I'm not typing an essay, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh, your uh, cross counter. Dealt with it well. Oops. It wasn't to troll you. But it was trollish behavior. Sorry, guys. How about the wait? My bad. I was trying to make a point. <laughs> All right, it's the super same typing action. All right, sorry guys. So let's see. Should I get? Have I heard back from Milk Love yet? Might be touchy after that Hugo slept around his 12, huh? What did you see to the guy that asked you if you're trolling him? Yeah, I, I, wake up I played Chun against him, and I wake up Spinning Bird like over and over and over again. Hey, Venk, have you ever gotten Scrub Quotes worthy messages? Uh, not really. You'd be surprised. You don't really get a whole lot of hate. Yo, Coffee Dead's so fucking nice, man. Okay, let me rejoin the lobby. If it's still open. Typing of the Dead is mega fun. That is a good ass game. Here goes nothing. Okay, okay. So we lost Milk Love. Oh, we got Duralath, though. So we lose. We lost Milk Love and Caviez, huh? Why is nobody readying up? Oh, they're probably fighting. Okay, here we go. Good old Gigas Grub, man. I feel bad he thought that I was trolling him. Welcome back, heroes. Yeah, I haven't heard back from Milk Love yet. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow! Me and Dribble have a lag. Are you ready? Go! Nice. Oh, I missed my super. Oh, we should have parried that. Oh, man. Yeah, one thing I can't, one that, what's lagging, I can't tell which Tatsu. I can't because of the frame drops. I can't tell which Tatsu comes out. Parrying to Chun's and then parrying to Taunt Chun's last of SA2, huh? 
parry it, taunt it. Could I get a, I, could I get away with something there though? I think I feel like I would still get punished for it. Okay, I think he doesn't want to fuck around with that lag. That was way laggy. Okay, but Sonic Dash seems to be good with here goes. I don't know, I'm hearing... You can, in this game you can hear it, right? Because it doesn't have good rollback. Oh no. No! No, Sonic Dash! Oh my... Ah! Uh, okay, he doesn't want to play that either. <laughs> good shit. That was weird. Now VX, yeah, oh, I did have VX. Fuck up execution. Oof. I didn't want that. He's at meter and I don't. Shitty feeling. Oh, hey, it's, it's uh, Mr. Dorson. Finally got the time schedule down for the Dame stream. Fuck, didn't know how till now. Time schedule down for my Dame stream? How do you mean? Uh, what's your schedule, Demon? Gotta be careful with that shit. I like to dash up a lot right there. It's a free throw every time. Should have been charging during my jump. that last match because I was eating ice cream. That's the best excuse you could possibly have here, guys. Yeah, I think it's not happening. I haven't heard from Milk Love. Let me check my uh, messages. I'll let you guys get a match started and then I'll check my messages. Because I think you can't do it from the fucking... You can't do it from here. You have to be in the match to check your messages in this game. It's so godlike. I messaged Milk Love, but I'm not done. He's gotten back to me. So I can go now. I can check it out now. No, he hasn't got back to me yet, so I think it's probably going to be nothing here. I mean, spinning bird's overpowered. It sucks you in from hits both sides. It's hard to parry even if you see it coming, and stupid priority like all of Chun's moves. Yeah, spinning bird is not the... Oh, what the fuck? I thought I could watch this. I thought that was the whole point of... Ah, man. 
So I might as well just make a new lobby then. Hope you guys are having a good game. <laughs> Yo, Digital Eclipse. Spinning Bird is not the best wake up in the game. In fact, a lot of characters have better wake ups than Spinning Bird. But Chun didn't need it. That's what, that's what the only point I'm trying to get at. It's a pretty good wake up. People say that it's. People underestimate how good it is, I feel like, as a wake up. It can be stuffed, which makes it, you know, not as good as an EX uppercut, for instance. But it's pretty hard to stuff it. Unless you're actively trying to stuff it. That's what you're going for, right? If you're trying to stuff it, and then it's, you know, you can deal with it, but. Uh, Cavi is still online. Diego's online, let's go. Best wake up in the game? Well, it'd be something that has iframes and is safe. Is there anything like that in this game? I don't think there is. I mean, block is the best wake up in the game, right? But if you're talking about like a button to hit on wake up, you know, eats up a cut, you can't go wrong. All right? Show it up, eats up a cut. What do you guys think? Best wake up in the game. The uppercut does a good damage, tons of iframes. That comes out quick. I mean, if you put supers in that list, I mean, there's a pretty good supers that are good for waking up. Like, wake up 720 is godlike. So this is wake up as Chun in general. It's a lobby switch, yeah. Because uh, I think the other lobby got broken, because I left. I went, I went to my menu, I went to my menu to uh, check messages for Here Goes and uh, fuck up the lobby, at least on my side. I wasn't sure if it'd get repaired or not, so I dipped. Oro EXDP, it never trades. I should look up the frame data on that. Wake up cross counter? I don't know. I think that's... Does that really have any iframes? I think maybe it means bullet treated with cross counter. Oro's DP has a pretty slow startup, right? But it does have iframes, so it probably still would be like meaties for days. I'm getting really bad wake up sequence. Good games here, guys. Glad to finally have you on PS4. I should add you to my list. I'm not sure what your, what your plans are in terms of playing long term. Could just be something you're just doing for a little while here. But in any case, I was happy to play with you. I haven't seen you around since the old Steam days. Crosscounter is not safe, yeah. But I think maybe what uh, I think maybe the question was, will cross counter fuck up Oro's uppercut. I think that was the question, perhaps. Because Kyo said it doesn't trade with anything. I imagine cross counter will probably still beat it. Of course. But I, mean, I don't think you can wake up cross counter. It doesn't even have any iframes, does it? Or does it? That's a startup time, doesn't it? Or am I wrong about that? I'm sad. I want to see Milk Love fight Here Goes. No, I'm sure still. If you're you probably can't crack under it. Okay, so we'll see if Milkov wants to play tomorrow. So I kind of would like to see that first attempt. Wake up super! Oh, what the? How did? How? What the? Have you guys ever seen? What? What? I just beat his wake up hammer with a knee. I wasn't even watching the fucking stun. Too busy thinking about what just happened. Reese's ice cream. Oh god, I would love some Reese's ice cream. Wake up and do nothing for a second and buffer and buff out back heavy heavy punch into super with Chun too, huh? Huh. 
how could I possibly beat? Oh, maybe he didn't. He, he released it too late. He released it too late. That's probably what happened, right? If you hold it down, I can probably just hit you out of it. <laughs> maybe. I have no clue how that works. Prepare to strike now. I think this was a Goki player I just played. He played like a waterhead, it was weird. Spain's a friend from the chat here. <laughs> waterhead. That's <laughs> so offensive. <laughs> I haven't heard that term in so long. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, I think that uh, Spade is kind of an intermediate level player, early intermediate level player. No, don't ask her, don't ask. That's so offensive. <sighs> <laughs> really offensive old timey term. <sighs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I feel like Spade is still getting his legs here. We didn't see legs. Spade's a very cool guy, though. He'll warm up. He'll warm up. Playing on PS4 for the first time recently. The stare down. He did dash up Raging Demon from full screen. Did it work? Answer me that. That would probably work on me. What's his boot camp? I got fucking this guy's cutter. He's not. Damn, we have enough charge. Ooh, he uppercutted me. I stood there to see if it would even reach. It didn't. I gotcha. Uh oh. Damn. I can just hold it a little bit longer. No lag on the super when I fight uh, boot camp. You win. Oh my! <laughs> oh, here it goes. So offensive. People tend to call Scrubby Akumas Mexican Akumas. Mostly due to a, a huge surge of Mexican players playing bad, laggy Gokis during Street Fighter Four days. I didn't know that. I've heard of the Mexican Uppercut before. Warming up, yeah, I used that uh, against no good uh, citizen at Alpha Attack. Didn't work there either. <laughs> dash up, uh, uh, dash up into uh, Demon. I'm kind of surprised I didn't hit. Sick. Well, I wanted to standing fierce, not towards fears. Whoa! It's okay, here, guys. I hear goes feels all guilty. I'm sure you're using it ironically. 
Hmm. Opa. Damn, it's hard to punish that. Oh no. You win. They are the gowd. Who's gonna first attend who? I wanna first attend somebody versus somebody. Good games, guy. That's a good night, dude. Yeah, but it's retarded in like the Black Eyed Peas song, Herb Gherkin. In this context, there's no disrespect. When I bust around you, break your neck. Big Shuaku, what's up, Wade? Okay, what boy? The corner. Nice combos. Oh, wow. Buffering Super is an anti here. He wants me to jump. Most of the communities I know from Mexico play SNK games. Yeah, a lot of Hispanic people seem to love SNK games. I hear it because it's. Uh, the fact that the consoles and the cabs are available cheaper makes it more widespread in South in uh, Middle and South America. This game worth getting to over Street Fighter. Don't ask. Here it goes. They'll tell you very definitively the answer. I can't say though. I never played a. I never played a. Uh, I played Chun. I never played a uh, King of Fighters game seriously. Wrong side. Yeah, Frankie's Hispanic, I think. Mexican, I don't know. Oh, he got me! Back fierce to Spinning Bird. See me in Alton, says Swirly. I will do. <laughs> Longer range than Kokokin.
Oof! Missed my roundhouse. And here. You win. If you guys want to learn all about, hey, if you guys want to learn all about uh, King of Fighters games, definitely ask Here Goes. So some, of, some of Chun's tools don't work that as well against Chun. All right, which kind of makes sense. He would. It kind of makes sense, right? Like, I was fighting somebody, I think I was fighting Here Goes, uh, yesterday, and, like, her close roundhouse is just, like, an unbeatable anti-air. But against Chun, it's like, also her spinning bird, she's, like, her back fierce beats the spinning bird on Wake Up, because it has so many fucking active frames. Not even Nika KO, Mexican, or Frankie, that fact, son. There's no Mexicans in the US community, groups, or at locals. Huh. I have a Mexican friend, but he looks like a white guy. Does that count? I have a Mexican friend looks like a white guy. I'm mixed. Go. Do I count? Do mixed people count? Can I look up the except cut? Games of Adventure. The only SNK games I play are Real Bout Fatal Fury and Real Bout Fatal Fury 2. Ooh. What a character. You win. Most Mexicans are mixed with European anyway. I said it's true. Welcome to the lobby, uh, Mr. Bjerson. Mr. Durson. We're playing Chun now, dude. It's a Chun lobby. Well, I'm gonna play Chun. So Baz means Yamazaki, you know? Isn't he kind of like a really tall guy? No one here plays Garou, huh? People on I know Poverty Game Night plays Garou. Tamales are godlike, I agree. Mexican food in general is godlike. I feel like Mexican food is Mexico's gift to the world. Maybe I should play Rage against Chun. Uh, maybe I should play Chun against Rage. I should play Chun against me. This fucker played Chun against me in a first of ten. Three has Chun is clown shoes. Kenneth and Tamales today, you son of a bitch, how dare you? Did you bring it up for the class, Keanu? Oh, didn't quite ship. That's bullshit. Wow. Well, I mean, that's Rage's fault, I guess. Mean it true, Venka. There's no full blood Mexicans at tournaments for 3S. Not even in Japan. And I went to Co op Cup 18. And yeah, what's a full blooded Mexican, though? I mean, like, uh, I think it was Swirly who said that they're usually Mexican European anyway. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't know Frankie personally, but you know, that's a pretty Hispanic look to him. You don't think he's full blooded? Not that it matters. Bootcamp's Chun is pretty sick. Wow, going over the uh, low four, I like that. Goro and Visa are the only games in which I play showdowns. Huh? The Spanish, European, and the indigenous South American. Yeah, my, you know, my even on my Hispanic side, my grandmother is pretty light complected. I got that Spaniard blood. Her name is De Leon, so you know, she's Spanish. My father is very dark complexed, and so is his father. Okay, big life leader for rage. Playing keep away. Nice. Using the fireball as a poke, you know I like that. You win.
Baz is Chilean, and I'm pretty white, though mostly because my fraternal family comes from Russia. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were white Chileans. The best brown drift player is Nicaraguan, huh? I just saved me for super though. Yeah, this uh, rage is pretty strong. People tell you otherwise, though. People love to hate on rage for some reason. Oh, I don't want that. That's her toward, uh, toward, toward down toward roundhouse. That was dumb of me. Did Venka switch to Chun-Li? I'm a Chun main now, yeah. I'm a Chun main now, KD Alpha. I'm a Chun main. I got a pocket Alex though. Well, if there's a matchup that Chun can't handle, I'll go to Alex. All, all, of, all of Chun's bad matchups, I go to Alex for now. How you doing, KD Alpha? I installed internet at this lady's house. Didn't speak any English, but gave me goods because gave me some food. It was like a tamale, but had the texture of a puff pastry on the outside. Good as hell. I don't know what it was, though. Tamale with a puff pastry on the outside? Was it sweet on the inside? Hey, don't worry, KD Alpha. I still play, I still play Alex sometimes. All of, all of Chun's bad matchups, I play Alex. Alex is there to round me out. Let's go rage. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Mm. Yeah, KDF, I'm only playing Chun enough to learn her so that I can play Chun against guys that play Chun against me. I mentioned earlier to Decoy Mantis that. My I, in my perfect world, Chun players would be condemned to a hell where they can only play other Chuns, and I gotta be the change I want to see in the world. So from now on, if you pick Chun against me, it's nothing but Chun for you from now on. But I gotta learn how to play her so that I can you know, be competent. And by learn how to play her, I mean at least be competent, halfway competent, not even that much competent, not even that competent. Not sweet chicken on the inside, covered in the crumbled cheese and lettuce. Whoa, Chun is a fun guy. Chun is a fun guy. I'm choosing to read that. Chun is a fun guy. I'm glad you feel that way, Herb. I'm sure, you would, you'd, I'm sure you'd be quite happy fighting nothing but Chun forever. I'll only play Chun in the matchups that she wins. I'll only play Chun in the matchups that she wins. But she didn't poison it. Damn. Okay, nice parry there from the rage. Use crushing medium with Chun. Yeah, I need to use that a little bit. But it's not. I need to be able to confirm it though. I don't. I can't confirm it into super yet. Two three Chun strat. Are you ready? Go. Yeah, I, I don't know how to confirm it yet. So I, I kind of let it rip raw. I'm trying to, uh, oh, to build meter? Crouching, what, crouching medium kick to build meter? I thought her back fears how you build meter. Okay. I don't know. That's what I use, though, crouching medium kick. Wow. Okay, nice. 
That was gonna confirm. That was a combo, though. Wait, Rage is so sick. Crouch medium punch, huh? I don't know. That seems like it's pretty slow. This is the same button I'm thinking of. Use crouching medium kick to whiff for meter? Herb? Crouching medium kick? I know they make use of it, you know, obviously in footsies. Come down to come down to fucking more lower than half health. Better than I can do with Alex. I didn't want that fuck. Mirth like chuns get that all the time. Crouching forward is the hit confirm and harder to parry versus back fears. Yeah. I'm sorry, Swirly. I'm a Chun player now, dude. So I got a pocket Alex, though. When the going gets tough, I got a pocket Alex. Get me out of trouble. I'm gonna play Chun against Rage because he picked Chun against me in the first attempt a while back. Oh no, Rage and Spade have a bad connection together? Oh, it's just a temporary thing. Seems like Spade has some some spikes here and there. Oh, I'm sure I could have bats for sure. I don't know how to play Chun. I have no idea how to play Chun. I have to play her in order to learn how to play her. If I, don't, if I never play her, I can't learn how to play her, obviously. Yeah, I guarantee you, most of these matchups I would do better with Alex than with Chun. Because I've played Alex for almost two years now. But I get pretty close for my with my two day old Chun. Yeah, so what's a what's a couple years of third strike, right? Well you can just hit fierce. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, there's stuff out here, dude. These are pretty strong players. Um, Dorson. These guys are some of the best in America. It's not like playing at your local arcade where you fight guys that are in your local area. These are guys from all over the place to play third strike all the time. They're intoxicating. I don't want to say they're intoxicating. Yeah, uh, uh, Rage. This is the Rage in Zero Counter, aka the Rage, New York City. Pretty strong player. I decided to play Ryu ten years ago. Never changed my mind. Uh, I like Ryu a lot, Swirly Glass. I like Ryu a lot. A little bit of meter there. I played Alex and Hugo since I was like four. Yeah, Swirly's a dungeon player. Says, but it's true though. He hasn't played since he was around four. Rage is a very reactionary player. He's trained his reaction times to be like his greatest asset. So it's very hard to get away with anything against him. You can't really get away with stuff. Like, see how he sets up that spacing where he's strong and you're soft? You can't walk. You want to walk in on him, right? But you really can't. Because he will definitely uh, hit you if you try and walk in. I'm going to try that here. I'm going to try and walk in on him, though. He's trying to stay where he's strong and I'm weak, right? Right outside of my, uh, my crouching medium kick range. Fight. 
Four ninety-eight. Yeah. Damn, you're young here. I don't know you're that young. If I got that period, I would have uh, been able to go forward into super. I wanted to, I thought I was going to go trying to do like an UOH on me. Gonna up my defense this time around. A little young art, if you will, huh? Give him that defense. Only 20. Wow, time has really flown. I can't believe he can be born 98 and 20. That disgusts me. I'm old as fuck. You can be born in 98 and be 20 by now? That's bullshit. Strike. Now. I won't stand for it. If you were born in 98, here goes. I got bad news for you, bro. You're like 13. I'm rebalancing time. So he's come out in 98, you're right. So I'm saying, wait. I don't care what the fucking calendar says. Here goes is 13 years old. He was born in 98. He can't be any older than 13. Oh, 99 or 2000. We got a three year span. We got some. Uh... Here we go. Whoa, that was sick. I never seen the board in my life. Oh, I wish he just chipped him. He didn't have any meter though to chip him. 99. Okay. I thought it was 98 too. Shows what I know. Nice pair. He plays a lot of characters. This is Mr. Dewerson. He's got a brand new stick in the mail today for his PS4. First time playing on PS4 at his own place. Okay. Raw EX headbutt. Again, it's a pretty strong special move. Nice parry. Again, you can't use those against a bit like Rage. You'll parry those on reaction. The knee drops. They're just not safe. Nice. Anti air with a fireball. He has no meter now, though. Walking up, pushing him into the corner. Good block. He's going for meter, yeah. He's, he's already got full meter, so. Just stood there. I'm not sure I agree with that meter usage right there. Threw the X fireball, didn't even dash in after it. Oh, there's a punish! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. No punish? Wow, why? There you go. First home port came out in 2000. Okay. The Dreamcast version. Maybe that's what the can is thinking. Okay, so he's got full bar. And uh, Spade has got nothing. Good parry there. Got a nice super off that parry. Okay, he's not blocking low on a wake up very much. UOH misses the combo though. A little bit early there. I like how Rage is using that fireball as a poke. You win. Why is it a long fight? Why isn't it my turn yet? Oh, we lost Rage. My dad had 3S on Dreamcast even though he hated the game. He hated 3S. Black.
Yeah, because yeah, you whooped that ass. Little kid, here goes. Go for it. He's a virtual fire player, I see. He's stationed in Japan for a new for a new gen no. two I. I got you. Oh fuck, on the wrong side. That guy work on execution. I have a magazine at my mom's house where it showed my dad winning some little tournament, huh? Over there in Japan. Okay. So Spade's gonna go with Yang here. Some lag spikes. Wow, <laughs> what an active button. What an active button. Okay. I'd be surprised if here goes knew the name of the magazine. Raw supers. Prepare to strike now. I've never actually won or actually competed in a tournament, huh, Keanu? Why not, dude? Where do you live? I was actually punished. I'm kind of surprised by that. Got a pretty long start up on that super. Illinois, huh? Why well, are you gonna be going to uh, going to uh, Frosty Fausting to meet me in January, Keanu? I'm gonna be in January. Frosty Fausting, dude. Come play 3S with us. Hey, Bozo. That's what I'm saying, wait. Frosty Fausting. Hey, we got Arteus. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too, Wade. Prepare to strike now. I did it sooner.
No, he missed a punish. He missed a punish. Turn to the dark side, Kenny. Chun all day, every day, dude. I mentioned, I was saying earlier, Kenny, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna play Chun, but I'm gonna stay well rounded with Alex as my secondary. Any matchup she loses, I'm gonna play Alex. Any matchup she loses, I'm gonna play Alex. That way, I've got a well rounded, a well rounded repertoire. Right, Alex is my backup. Enough meter to punish there. Nice. Oh, he dropped his super there. Oof. Oof. That was my wake up. I'm really bad at wake up supers lately. What about Rue? I think I'm going to play Rue maybe next week a little bit, maybe the week after that. Everybody needs a pocket Alex. Just in case, Wade, just in case. Okay. We got our Tay, yes. I need to play patiently. Can he use a pocket? What goes into that pocket, Kenny? What goes into that pocket? That's what's important. Lint, huh? Wow, I can't believe it. How did uh, how did Faces win that throw? I guess because he must have. I think that our taste threw too early. Oh, I think he's not ready for this uh, Shoto action here. Wow, that was the highest of of uppercuts there. Wow, hit him on the foot on the way down. Uh-oh, here's a comeback. Look at the damage. Oh, wow, that's pretty sick. What a throw. So now Faceless has a lot of meter. And he will demon when he gets meter. But he doesn't car demon, so it's not really that dangerous. It's dangerous on Oki, pretty much. Okay, that was pretty sick. If only it hit. <laughs> I, forget, was that the, I think it was a monoxide quote, right? That would have been sick if it worked. Okay, nice stun. Oh, it drops a combo. But picks it up again. Doesn't need it. Is it weird that I hate Daijim but find Necro fun? I mean, Dalsim, right? Do you find Necro fun? No, I don't think weird. Not a little bit. The premise is the same, right? Wake up supers, here's the punish. Yeah, a little reset there, not really a combo. What a trade. Nice combo from Faceless. Oh! Oh, he drops it right there. Uh, wake up supers. Poop. You gotta respect the wake up super. Trust me. Trust me, I would know. 
You gotta respect the wake up super. <laughs> Okay, crawls up with the right hand side. Okay, so I need to uh, play slow. Yeah, just play slow. No, I had no meter. I had uh, no charge. Oh, I freaking punished that! Oh, shit. I forgot! Yo, I gotta remember, I've never fought Necro that punches that before. Except for the except for Arteus. Yo. I just can't do that for free. Damn, sick. Get off me. Is that a reaction to my dash up, do you think? Ouch. You wait. Yeah, Dalton has projectiles, right? He's kind of a zoner. Necro can't really zone you. He's really just more like a regular character that has really long limbs. Without fireballs, you really can't kind of pin you down. Well, you can pin you down, of course, especially in the corner. So, Spade, he likes the random uh, machine gun blow. He's, kind of, he's, like one, he's like an unsafe Dudley. wasn't the same dude that said he's been playing for 15 years, right? I don't think so, here goes. I'm not sure who you're talking about. Prepare to strike now. I'm not sure who said that. <laughs> 15 years? Yeah, Mr. Dorson, a faceless face, very new to the channel. During Metal Slug, there was a guy talking about his SA3 Goki for 15 years. I must have missed it. I was too busy getting my ass kicked to Metal Slug. Even if I, even if I... I might be a punish. Ah, 
Should have just why did I use meter there? Nice. Oof, got me. Using my meter too that I was trying to build up. Kinda got the uh, thought maybe I could get that round after all. It's hard to get, get past that. Metal Slug last week in the early evening and in the late evening. We've got Crapo Madman 1. I'll be the judge of how Crapo we should go on a very short break here, about uh, 15 minutes, guys. But it's Bruce Day Tuesday, we're gonna play until 3 a.m. Eastern time. So we have about uh, a little less than four hours left here on the stream. But I'm gonna go for a short break after uh, the next few matches here and come right back in about five minutes for more third strike. I don't want to get alarmed when you see the break screen come up. It's not the end of the stream, guys. We've got so many hours left here for playing 3S. So you can parry Dr. Time Reaction, right? It should be easy, hypothetically speaking. Right? Because they always hit the same time. But you must never see anybody do that. Why is that? I've heard the dives called red parry bait before. Because they, uh, you know, the second hit's always the same timing, right? So you can just block the first one and then red parry the second one. But it comes at you so slow sometimes, wouldn't you just blue parry both hits? Or is that not something that's easy to do? Cause it comes so, so sometimes moves that come slow are hard to parry, right? Because you have to tap forward and wait for them to reach you. So if they're moving slow, it's kind of tough. What's up, mutant? We're getting body by our taste, mutant. How you doing, homeboy? Best necro in America. Our taste. I would tell Mutant about Iron Man combo, but I think he doesn't know who Iron Man combo is because he's not a PSN player. How have you been? You trying to hold it together? They've been damn busy lately. We got round three. My friend uh, Dorson's got two full bars. Are I pretty better than Blue Parries? Yes. Thank you, Mutants. You looked at me on Facebook as well, right? Yeah, guys, on uh, Tuesday, December 6th, we are having another tournament here on the channel. Another online term for your PS4 player, definitely sign up on that link that you can provide in the chat there. Plus, I wish I knew what Airman Combo was. Yeah, get the free tournament, guys. That's uh, uh, the Jazzy Online Fundraiser Tournament number three. Now available for signups at that link in Newton's uh, link there. Airman Combo's back, Blue Camp. We fought him on uh, we fought him earlier today on PS4. Red Parries are better because you can do them out of a block. They're the same. So when you get a parry animation, you're instantly neutral, right? So any block stun you would have had is neutralized. So you can get much better punishes. Um, but red parries are done out of block. So if you block the first hit, you can actually red parry out of a block string. But it is much, it's much more, uh, much tighter timing to red parry than to blue parry. 
So when you block Necro's dive kick, it always hits it twice, right? The dive hits it twice. One, two. You can block the first hit, and you're stuck blocking. You can't hit a button because you're in block stuff. But you can red parry out of block stuff. But it's very, very tight timing. But if you blue parry the first hit, then it's much easier to blue parry the second hit. Because, again, if you're not blocking, parries are much easier. Yeah, exactly what Kenny said. If you parry out of a block, you get a red parry. But you have to be much tighter with the timing. Stop the madness. Iron Man combo. Is that a good block? I'm not sure who crap old Madman is, but his connection seems okay. So he's okay in my book. Good night, here it goes. Good games, man. Have a good rest. I'm sure I'll see you in due time. I'm sure I'll once again be blessed by your valets. Before I go, someone lend me $3,500? Uh, if I only had that much money, I would definitely lend it to you, dude. Easy. Okay, better than game bet, exactly, dude. Can't be. I don't mind if you're soft, but uh, have a good connection. That's okay. But if you're soft and a bad connection, that's really whack. I chuck somebody's skull. Whose skull are you gonna buy? Oh, we lost Dorson. Are there like manuals or guides for this kind of image? Oh yeah, there is, dude. I wish I could link one to you in the chat. If you Google it, I'm sure they'll find a kind of fun stuff. I think that uh, sure you can have a pretty good guide in general. A band named Mayhem, one of the dudes got himself shot in the head, and now a chunk of his skull is on sale. Oh, even so he survived it, though. That's nice. Nice punish. Yeah, airborne. Not good for me. Well, oh, that move comes out really far. I see. Nice confirm. Ooh, what was that button? Is crouching roundhouse? Oh, he's dead. I see. Ready can punish that. Sick. Yo, good games, uh, Mr. Dorson. Have a good night, dude. That was his medium kick. You, don't, you never see that. That's why I was kind of confused by that. I wish Madman would dip so that I could get some matches with, uh, with this dude. Triptych DP. Never let that fucking third strike die. Thank you, Triptych. I'm trying to try my damnedest. Bless that wakes. Bless the wake up supers. The elbow combo is difficult to execute. Yeah, I've heard that. So, one thing Mutant told me a long time ago is that if you block against, if you block against Necro, he can't do anything, and that's true. But back then, I still didn't understand. Like, I'm not totally sure when you do eventually get a turn. I have to understand how, when you get a turn against him. Cause I can block against him forever. That's no big deal, which is cool and everything. But I gotta hit a button eventually to actually damage him, or do I? 
you know, you guys know I went through a transformation a few months ago where I had an epiphany that you can win without hitting buttons. Which sounds ridiculous, and it is. It's a, it's a hyperbole. But it's a meditation. Can I beat Necro without hitting any buttons? So Trip is a Hugo man. I think I've heard of you before, Trip. I'm not mistaken. It's a pleasure having you, Mr. Dorson. I know it's kind of tough, even when you're kind of rusty. A lot of these guys here are really strong. Triptych DP. I'm pretty sure I've heard of Triptych before. If I beat Necro without hitting any buttons, what if I hit like a standing light kick? That's fast. I never use my light buttons. So that might be part of the part of the riddle here. I could also try and parry. You guys know how I feel about parry. Because they're not real block strings, so it'd be a blue parry, right? But the problem is that I'm sure he's trying to mix up his timing and stuff in, in high or low. Got me. So I'm gonna do anti. Oh, we got me. I know he had Slam Dance. So we can't punish my EX Slash level anymore. My knee. Oof. Also, be EX. Final round. Go for it. Oof. Got me. I like to back I can wake up a lot. I think he just changed to kind of troll a little bit. He beat me a bunch of times with his good super. Slam Dance is a really shitty super. But he figured he didn't need it anymore, so why not have a little bit of fun? I think Slam Dance is Necro's only non-viable super. Pretty good time for us to take a break, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, crapo. Crap, oh no. So he's back. He had a good connection. It seemed like he had a good connection with, uh, with Arteus. Not against me. Guys, I'm going to go for a short break here. Come right back. Guys, as usual, if you enjoy it, hang out on the channel online. Check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash bankabot. Even a buck is a huge help. with a long way for making the channel more sustainable in the long term. Stack up my belly. Thank you for hanging out, guys. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, eight hours of third strike. I have, uh, um... Lots of 3S on my YouTube channel. If you want even more 3S, it's not enough for you. But how can it not be enough for you guys? Eight hours! Capo Internetto. 
Yeah, I don't know. He's gonna be okay with Arteus. Bob versus Yuvenka. Mine, my whack Yuvenka. Yeah, of course, uh, Bogmire. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here to a break. I'll be back in like five minutes. I'm not sure who's gonna play with us tonight. It's getting kind of late, and it seems like the lobby's kind of dying down. But yeah, of course, Bogmire. If you're on PS4, by all means. Um, but yeah, on YouTube, guys, we have all my past streams. We've got uh, other long plays. We've got retro games, modern games, horror games, uh, AAA games, indie games, puzzle games. Um, they can help for free by following on Twitch. Tell your friends we're here. Check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Venkabot. Even a buck is a huge help over there, guys. It helps them buy groceries. I think I already said that, right? Groceries and gas, that kind of thing. Um, wow, crapo. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe thought I got the wrong character or something. I'm going to a very short break, guys. Come right back with more Third Strike. I will see you guys very shortly. It'll be like five minutes here. Kronos says, Venkabot, my dude, remember when I told you about the Kusoge Advent Calendar? Yes, vaguely. Well, we've got the trailer for it, and I thought you and your audience might be interested. Mind if I, no, by, by all means, plug it, dude, plug it. Good night, Baz. Have a good rest, dude. Yeah, Wade, still watching? Mutant's calling for you. I gotta use the bathroom, guys, refill my water, that kind of thing. I'll be right back. Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh, fuck! I'm okay still. Come on, land on it! No! Ugh. Suck shit, douchebags. And that's from the heart. I know it sounds mean, but I mean it with love. Suck all of my shit out of my ass. You douchebags. Fuck Amy. That bitch. Better with her than I was with Sonic. Well, I was doing my test screen, uh, my test runs a lot a couple nights ago. Make sure the game would work at all. This game is just pure joy. Sick drift. Let's go. Easy. Okay, I'm almost ready, guys. I'm gonna grab a shake real quick and be in it. <laughs> 